So far, how are you feeling? I've uh, been feeling good, you know, just making sure I stay in game shape, getting in game shape, and just coming out and just being ready to play. It's been going good so far. You know, yesterday was the first time you had Luke available for practice. Uh -huh. Now that y'all had all the pieces together, what yeah. was that like, you know, for the first performance? It was good, you know, just seeing him back on the floor, mm -hmm. just making a good recovery with the calf stuff that he has going on. And it's always good to see a guy come back from an injury. Daniel, without having a test run in the preseason, how uh, pivotal is the next week heading into the season opener for y'all? I feel like it's going to be big for us because now, you know, real things starts now. You know, everybody's going to come in and first game ain't going to be no, you know, cakewalk. <laughs> San Antonio's going to come in and they're going to for sure try to win that game. So we just got to be ready, you know, that they're going to try to throw the first punch to come out and just play winning basketball with the mindset of just, you know, doing everything. Everything is not going to be perfect. We're going to make mistakes, but we learn from those mistakes on the fly. So they're going to decide in the end game. What have you seen so far from Clay in terms of just having the shooting and then obviously you guys were creating tension by dropping to, to Lane, but hoping they improve? I mean, really just, you know, his patience. You know, I mean, kind of up and down for him right now, I'm pretty sure, because he's trying to do, he's dealing with a new team, new scheme. A lot of defensive stuff coming his way, so I'm pretty sure he's trying to adjust the best way he can. But I'm, I feel like he's, you know, taking the right approach to it. You know, he's not letting anything get to him. He's just coming out and just playing basketball. Speaking of adjusting, a guy like you, you know, you come in mid-season, you kind of learn on the fly. How's it feel having just a full training camp, full preseason to actually implement yourself in the second season with the Mavs? Uh, it feels good, you know, just to come in and just be able to kind of start from day one with, you know, a team that I started with throughout the season last year. Um, it's good for me because now, you know, I got kind of like, you know, the base of operations when it comes to our defense, our offense, everything we want to do throughout the season, our goals, just simple stuff. Daniel, what have your, going off that question, what have your thoughts been so far playing for Jason Kidd over the past, I guess, half a year or so? It's been great, you know. I feel like he's a real down-to-earth coach and he just understands the game because he played. And so it's just he, the way he approaches, it's just, it's a calm, it's like a calm vibe that he comes in with. You know, if he has to get on you, let you know about some stuff, he will. But the majority of the time, it's just, you know, he's just a real chill coach. He tries to be at a level of the relationship wise to where it's like everybody's comfortable around each other. Daniel, do you think some of that comfortability in his, his ability to relate to you guys comes from him playing in the NBA for so long? Oh, of course. That's just like any coach in the league. That, you know, you, you've been a part of it, so you understand how the flow of the game goes. And to be able to kind of like implement that in a coaching standpoint, it, it just shows, you know, the diversity of guys going from being players to coaches. It just helps out a lot because now you can help the younger generation that's coming in understand the game a lot more. Thank you guys. All right. Thank you. All right, guys.